Hey guys, it's me, Lily Waffle, and I am back with another video. Today we are going to be making cake. I can't even read my handwriting at this point. Oh my god! What is that? Here we have all our ingredients in front of us. We're also going to be making the frosting. <laughs> Set your oven to 350. We're going to be baking the cake for 26 minutes. Make sure you oil your pans. What I like to do is I like to put some oil on a paper towel and rub the pan with the oil. Make sure you get all over the pan so that it doesn't stick and you can get the flour all over the pans. Now we're going to put on some flour and we're going to tap it around so that the flour gets all over. This is so that the cake doesn't stick to the pan. Occasionally it will, but if we do it right, it won't. You want to make sure that you cover all the pans in the oil and the flour. You don't want it to be too much because then it will just clump up and we don't want that. In a bowl, add three and two thirds cup of flour. Add one teaspoon of salt. Add one teaspoon of baking powder. Add three fourths a teaspoon of baking soda. And then after that, you're gonna wanna whisk it all together. I couldn't find my whisk because I'm pretty sure it broke. <laughs> so I had to use a really small one. You want to add one and a half cups of unsalted softened butter, two cups of granulated sugar. I can't seem to fit it in. You want to cream that all together until it is light and fluffy. I had trouble breaking up the bits. It will look clumpy, but it is all creamed together very nicely. You're going to want to add three large eggs. and two egg whites. Make sure you separate them and then throw away the yolk. Make sure you wash your hands after handling eggs. We do not want you to get salmonella. Washing eggs is important. Hands, washing hands. You wanna whisk that all together until it is fluffy. You want to add the dry ingredients. To the wet ingredients. After you mix it all together, you're gonna want to add one and a half cup of milk. I had to guess it because I didn't have a liquid cup measure thing, but I did what I can. Do not eat the raw batter. It's not good for you. For the buttercream, we're gonna add one and a half cups of soft fit butter, six cups of confectioner's sugar, one third cup of milk, one and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract, and salt. For me, it didn't work out because I didn't have enough co confectioner sugar, so I decided to add the frosting and crumble up the cake to make cake pops to save it. It seems to be going along nicely, and I was able to roll it into balls. I found some chocolate chips, and I was able to coat it in the chocolate. I thought maybe that would work, but that also didn't work out, so I was just left with a bunch of crumbs. Oh well, did what I could. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to like and subscribe.